I haven't played FAF in a long time, and people keep asking me to come back. I had to ask myself what there is to come back to, and concluded that there are three prevalent trends that currently keep me from coming back. I call them the efficiency bubble, the automation abyss, and the survival of the shittiest. The game continuously degrades from a playing field with a multitude of interesting tactics and diverse factions into a focus and efficiency simulator. Balance is optimized around a streamlined 1e1 and Seaton's experience, or focus and efficiency matter. Team games on other maps are being of second priority. Lots of changes made team games less interesting. I could list them all, but instead let me just tell you what pushed me over the edge. That uh, was the uh, experimental build time increase. Uh, this removed the uh, ping pong of experimentals between teams that uh, were click uh, quickly uh, rebuilt at low build power. As long as there was eco, this is gone now. Uh, it is what kept team games interesting, and uh, now they just end <laughs> in one push, pretty much. I consider myself a creative mind with unconventional ideas, and uh, FAF is no longer a home for people like me. I understand that I may be part of a minority that doesn't matter much, since other people are still playing FAF like nothing happened, so I don't mind if balancers don't con uh, consider this a problem. Despite being a focus and efficiency simulator, there isn't all that much to do in FAF. FAF has always been a game you could play at a very low APM. This was uh, mainly enabled by the convenient UI and the strategic zoom. And I have been okay with the extent the UI plays the game for you, so you can focus on the big picture. But uh, now this uh, convenient UI thing has been overdone. Uh, micro options have been removed Look at bombers that can hover, uh, harbies uh, which have uh, much worse micro capabilities and so on. The uh, automatic overcharge uh, was a mistake to add in my opinion, because uh, microing your ACU like that was actually a huge part of that game. And uh, now we actually even have global target priority ma uh, mods that uh, let you customize uh, which uh, type of enemy unit uh, each of your units automatically shoots at first. And uh, actually parts of the community uh, are testing automatic uh, manual reclaim mods. Uh, someone messaged me with one of these. This uh, may not reflect the official developer opinion, but uh, it shows that there's a willingness in the community to go even further with uh, automating the game, which is uh, super alarming. Because when I think about this, I gotta ask myself while playing, wh why micro or do anything at all? By the way, this is why I put the uh, gunship game in the background, where I do nothing but build gunships and right-click all game. I have had way too many games like this before, and after playing, uh, I, I asked myself, uh, what's the point in playing a game where it's okay not to micro or do anything at all? W what is left that separates a good player from a bad player when both just watch icons move on the map, right? New players in any game generally first try to find their personal comfort zone and stay within it until they get to know the game better and then slowly expand their comfort zone to all aspects of the game. This is the natural behavior of anyone who's learning something new. But uh, with the uh, selection of turtle and eco maps we have, uh, people uh, are actually able to carve their niche and uh, stay in their comfort zone forever without really learning anything new, because they always do the same thing. And uh, the popularity of these maps makes it really hard to find a game on a different map, even if, uh, even if people want to enter a more competitive environment. Honestly, who will want to fight for leaving their comfort zone if they have to like sit through hours of lobby sim just to find like a proper game? And if players from turtle maps join the odd game of the day on a decent map, their overinflated rating ruins it for everyone because the team with the 2400 rated Astro Creators guy always loses. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> when, when, when a guy with almost twice my rating is objectively more than twice as bad as me, I seriously ask myself what I'm doing in a place that rewards people for being bad. Just saying there are mechanisms at work that threaten to make good players leave and bad players stay. For players whose learning curve is steep enough to survive in a more competitive hardcore environment, moving on might be the rational thing to do, and this can't be healthy for a small community like FAF. 
So to summarize it, the efficiency bubble, the automation abyss, and the survival of the shittiest are my reasons for not playing FAF right now. Please note that this video isn't meant to influence anyone into taking a break or quitting FAF. If uh, any one of you had doubts about FAF and I just reinforced them, I'm truly sorry. Please enjoy FAF to the fullest, have the great time I had. The uh, sole intention of this video is uh, actually to explain why I'm not playing FAF at this very moment. And so when I stream other games, I don't have to explain the same thing over and over again to people who ask me about FAF. I'd rather link this video via chat command on my stream, have people watch it and keep the discussion, uh, discussion in the chat to the game that I'm playing. Thank you for your understanding and see you soon.